All right, what's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I build a ammo can guitar. Three string, cigar, box. In this case, ammo can guitar. So, I've got plenty of videos where I've done the neck. So I've already started the neck. Uh, I still need to glue the wings on, but here's the neck right here. So, when I get it to this point, I wanna go ahead and fit it into the can. That's what I'm gonna focus on is uh, what I do inside the can, right? So uh, obviously the first thing you wanna do using your fret template or whatnot is figure out, so when I built this neck, I used this fret template and a straight edge, laid it on here. I know where my uh, 20, it's gonna be on a 25 inch scale. So I know where my 25 inch mark is and I also know with some overhang how many frets I could get on this guitar. So that's what's, those are kind of the two important things to me, where the bridge lands and then uh, number of frets on the guitar, right? So uh, once I do that, <clears throat> I made me some uh, slots or uh, marked out where the neck's gonna go and I'm gonna cut this out. And then uh, we'll get to setting up the inside. I'm also uh, going to put a humbucker in here um, in, the, in the can and the, in the neck position, I believe. I may change my mind, but currently I'm putting it in the neck position until I get it cut. Once I get it cut, I, obviously I guess that's where it's going. Um, but anyway, I'm going uh, to cut this out and then I'll show you how to set the, set the neck up inside the box. see the hole cut out and I just got just a little bit of overhang right here for the neck so I'll actually cut this off of the neck so that it fits in there. All right I've cut down the top of the neck so it'll fit in that slot I just cut. Now one thing to keep in mind or to think to, that's a little different from cigar box uh, guitars is uh, on a cigar box guitar I always screw the neck in to the bottom of the box. If it's uh, if the neck is too uh, not thick enough, I add shims in there. But that's what's these screws in the bottom here. Are what's holding it to the box? I suppose you could do that on a ammo can, but that's a lot of extra wood to put in there and some extra long screws. So typically, I'm connecting the neck. Through the front and so also as part of that is you, you got to worry about squaring the neck to the box so here's the slot I cut and what I do is I go and I've cut two two blocks here's the other one that are just the same height as this opening so the idea is I slide this neck in and these will be glued on the inside And that's what I'm pushing the neck down. That'll help me square this neck to the box so that I can screw it in and make sure that it's uh, square in here. Took a bunch of measurements. I've also taken this uh, combination square and I've taken a measurement here at the front and at the back and I get the same same results so you got to take your time to get this uh get this set up but i think this is the most important part so now I'm gonna go ahead go ahead and glue the wings on while i'm gluing the wings on i'm gonna glue these pieces in the box here and there so that i'll have something to set the neck on I don't know if I've mentioned this before. But one thing you're going to need when you build cigar box guitars 
and lots of clamps. I still got a couple more necks I need to glue up, but I ran out of clamps. All right, I know in the beginning I said I wasn't gonna, you know, go through the, the neck part. I do this uh, all the time. Uh, you know how I glue this up. It's a level on here just to give it good, even clamping pressure. But I figured I would show this just because this marks the beginning of taking care of the inside of the box. So now that I've got, oh, there you go. Now that I've got this fretboard glued up, stick it in the can here, and I'll figure out how much. Figure out how much fretboard overhang I want, where to cut it. That's going to tell me where to put my pickup, and then I can start cutting the inside, of, cutting the can out, getting the electronics in there, and that's what we're going to go through. All right, so there's probably half a dozen or more ways to do this, but this is just the way I choose to do it. Now that I've got the fretboard glued onto the neck, I've got the neck in the box. I've got a uh, ruler on here. So this is a 25 inch scale. So it's sitting, 25 inch mark is sitting right here where the nut would be. And I got the bridge down here, uh, butted up against it just for reference, just to kind of represent where the bridge is gonna be. It's off center, it needs to go that way a little bit. I know that. And then I took the ring uh, from, from the humbucker and placed it on the box where I think I want the ring, right? I'm just looking, uh, just feeling it out. And where I have it placed, it's butted right up against where the 22nd fret would be. So if I cut it at the 22nd fret, you'd have 21 frets on this guitar. And that's usually what I shoot for is 21 or more. Um, when you come over the, the lip, it's more about looks than anything. Uh, Cause unless you're playing a slide, you're not gonna be able to get to this frets anyway with your fingers. Maybe you would the top string, you know, like the, these down here, but that's about it. <clears throat> uh, but if you're playing a slide, it doesn't matter cause you'll figure out where this uh, 24th fret is if you want to hit it and you can slide right over, over it and it'd be, it'd be awesome. Uh, so I'm thinking about putting some sound holes in here with some screens. So I just kind of laid those on here just to see what it looked like. But this is what I'm doing just to kind of figure out where I want to cut this fretboard. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to cut it at the 22nd fret. And then I will do that, uh, put the neck back in here, and then I'll center this uh, ring here. And then I'll start marking out where I'm going to cut uh, for the humbucker. Okay, I marked both the inside and the outside of this. And the reason why is uh, uh, so I know how much room I can go outside the line. I need to cut on the outside of this uh, inner line to make the humbucker fit. But I need, you know, now I know how far. I know where the actual outer limit is. As long as I don't touch that line, I'll be fine. All right, um, I said I was only gonna show mostly doing the inside of this can. So I think uh, mounting the bridge also counts because of the way I'm gonna mount the bridge. So I'm using a hardtail bridge and uh, there's some adjustment. That's what I like about these is you can adjust the strings to get the intonation and you also have that height adjustment to get the action just where you want it. Um, but the downside to this is there's not a lot of adjustment. There's adjustment, but there's not a lot of adjustment. So. You got to be very careful with this. So what I always do is I set my bridge up. I've got the, <clears throat> the middle uh, piece for the middle string uh, set where it basically in the middle of the travel, right? I can screw it all the way out or all the way in. I've got it set in the middle. And so I'm going to base that measurement off there. What I've also done is I have 
Um, this little contraption here, I know it looks a little complicated, but it's not. It's got this ruler, the 25, it's a 25 inch scale neck. So I got the frets on here and I waited till I got the frets on this neck before I did this. Um, so now I have this set on this 25 inch mark. I've got a straight edge here so I can get this square and then I can butt this up right at this 25 inch mark up against the ruler and I'll make my marks and this is where I'll drill the holes for the bridge so I'll know that I've started on that 25 inch mark and then that'll give me room for adjusting uh, to get the intonation in the on the guitar. So uh, while we're speaking of that, pull this neck out of here real quick. So like I said, I've, I just got this fretted up. I still need to uh, coat the neck and and do all that stuff. But you'll see, I've already got uh, marks here. That's where the um, pickup is going to go into the box. So I'm going to have to cut this out and uh, make room for the pickup to go up and down. Same thing when I put the neck, put this uh, bridge in the box. I think I've talked about this before. If you look right here, let me see if I can get up here. If you look right here, if I put this, I don't know if I can do a good job. Let's try it. There you go. So if I put this on this neck, this neck is an inch and a half wide. <clears throat> and you'll notice if I try to get these screws uh, centered on the neck, there's daylight on both sides. So this, I show you all that to say this is just a little bit wider than the neck. <clears throat> so what I do is um, I build little braces to go inside the box. So this will be inside the box, and this will give me room for this to screw into. So just like the just like the marks here for the pickup, once I screw this, make them holes, and screw this into the box, then I'll need to mark this neck so I can cut a, uh, cut out around this as well. And this will basically slip right over the neck. Uh, slip, the neck will slip right over this inside the box. And the bridge will be screwed down. So um, once I get this in there and show it to you, maybe it'll make a little more sense if I didn't explain it well enough. I don't know. But there you go. So I've got the holes cut for the pickup. And you'll also notice in here is same thing. I've got these blocks in here. Now there's nothing in the middle because the neck needs to go through there close to the box. But I got them on both sides. That's to accommodate these screws. So it has something, plenty of material to bite down on and hold the pickup ring into the box. <clears throat> All right, here's an in, a look at the inside of the box. Um, I have these pieces here. This is just to catch the screws for the pickup. Um, we talked about these pieces here. That's to rest the neck on. There's the other piece back there. And this is uh, for the bridge. And I've notched the neck. So it'll notch over the pickup. This will allow you to raise and lower the pickup to the proper uh, height for playing. And then this piece will notch over the bridge. I've got the holes cut out here. Um, to screw the neck in. So that's one of the differences is I screw the neck into the top of the box, whereas on the cigar box guitars, I always screw into the back. Now, the other thing is maybe you can, if you got like some ninja skills and you can, uh, and you're really good at uh, soldering, but I am not. So uh, I do all of this outside the box. Uh, just because I can't get my hands in there. On a cigar box, you can lay the lid over upside down. It's, it's pretty easy. So I've kind of measured everything inside there, and I'm going to solder uh, these two together and then solder the pickup in, and then I will put those in the box. 
All right, here's a quick look at the inside before I close this thing up. Um, you can see this is just a piece right here. That's what the bridge is screwed to. The screws are still pretty long, but they come just to the outside. This one kind of nicked the end of this. Um, and then same thing, screws into this for the ring, but there's the pickup. And uh, it's recessed just enough so you can lower the pickup down to fit in the box or to fit underneath the strings. You got everything kind of glued down so it don't rattle around. I've already got it plugged in because I've been tuning on it. So let's close it up. And take a look at it. The action's pretty good on this thing. Here's the 12th fret, just for reference. It came out really awesome. Sounds good. Um, sounds good. Plugged in as well. Sounds really good. Yeah, it came out really awesome. Uh, I was sitting here thinking about it after I uh, tuned this thing up last night and was messing with it. And I said, you know what you need? You need an ammo can get it. This thing is awesome. Man, uh, I built a few of these. Uh, a couple of them were, were orders and then I built uh, one or two and, and dropped it on my site and it didn't last long telling you what this thing is is really awesome it's kind of cool i have a earlier video of the first one i built um I'll, I'll try to put a link in the description or something but uh i thought it was pretty pretty cool it's kind of dramatic uh lead up to this but you can throw your throw your slide and some picks in the bottom of this thing and roll out and have a good time so yeah this is what you need for sure an ammo can get you Thanks for checking out this video. Um, I got more builds coming up uh, soon. I've, I've uh, made up quite a few uh, neck blanks. Let me show you here. That's what I call a neck blank. I've already kind of, I just got the, uh, let's see here. There it is. Yeah. I got the scarf joint on it. You know, it's uh, it still would need to be cut the length and put the heel on it, but uh, I'm just kind of going through sorting out which boxes I want to use uh, for my next build and uh, then it'll just be a matter of uh, getting started so uh, thanks for checking this out as always please like share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one I'm out